Welcome back to Just Scribble. I have two new Chic Sparrow covers here to unbox with you guys and I could not wait to open these up. It is late on Friday night. I had a super long day at work. We got our puppy spayed today. It's just been a day. But when I got home, my new Chic Sparrows had delivered so I had to hop on and share these with you guys because I really wanna check them out and I prefer to do that with you guys. So I have two different covers here and we're gonna open them up and check them out. I cannot wait to see these. All right, so the first one is a passport and this is in their patina leather. Oh, I'm so excited. So when I got the email that they had brought back a patina leather and that they had this new leather available, I had to snag one in passport because they are original patina leather that they used for their hand-tooled traveler's notebooks. Mm -hmm. That leather is the first Passport TN that I ever got. So this is my very first Passport Traveler's Notebook. It was a Chic Sparrow in their patina leather. It is slightly different than this patina leather, like it's not from the same tannery, but this leather, this patina, my original one from 2017, was this color, actually maybe a little bit lighter than this when I first got it. I will try to post some pictures. I think I have pictures sharing the color of this the first day that I got it, but it was pretty close to this color. And this is how dark it's gotten from use. I don't use this cover every day, but I have used it a lot over the years and I absolutely love it. It is a classic passport traveler's notebook. So when I saw that they were bringing back patina leather, which is an undyed leather, I had to snag another one in passport, but this time in their cascade. So I have my cascade pockets, my four elastics, my secretarial pocket, and my pen loop. So now I have a classic, and the Cascade in the patina leather, and I am so excited. I cannot wait to see how long it takes this one to get this dark and how much darker this one will get. This leather is firm. It does have a really firm hand. It is really soft to the touch, but it doesn't really have any texture. There will be like range marks. There can be scars and moles and those kinds of things, but it's not gonna have pebbling or anything like that, but it will get a lot softer and more pliable with use. So this one is pretty stiff. And this one is the one that I've used and loved. And so it is, you know, soft and pliable and just so yummy. So that is the first notebook that I bought. I will put links to this leather down below so that you guys can order one as well if you'd like. They offer it in folios and then traveler's notebooks in basically all of the sizes. So I got that. And then the other one that I ordered, let me move this out of the way. This is a narrow or standard size. It is standard traveler's notebook size because I have been, where did I put it? I have been really enjoying the standard size. So when I was setting up my swatch book for 2024, that's what this one is. This is actually a Chic Sparrow cover from their, um, from their traveler's notebook kits. This is in Emma. And so when I set up my swatch book, which is in a sterling ink in one, which is standard traveler's notebook size, I really loved the size. Like I loved holding this and flipping through it and setting it up. And I kind of got all of the feels. And for a long time, I've tried to really love standard size and it didn't really quite jive, but now I'm loving it and I've been using it for my wellness planner. This is my wellness planner. I did do like a detailed video on this and how I'm using it, this as my wellness planner and how I have it set up. And I may be changing this into the week's size paper test instead of the standard insert paper test in the weekly layout, but I wanna keep using this size. And so I'm actually gonna be using this size as an everyday carry, I think in March. I'm not 100% sure when I'm gonna switch into it, but I decided that I wanted a Chic Sparrow that had the four elastics, because this is a single elastic strand. This is from Woozy, this is a single elastic strand. I do have a Sojourner as well, but I decided that I wanted it in a multi-strand with the pen loop and the cascade pockets and all of the things. And I really wanted one in the chocolate creme or cream, however you wanna say it, leather and so I ordered one and I cannot wait to check this out oh oh my goodness oh my goodness look at this oh my gosh I'm so excited okay so this leather has the ultimate smell like it is the most yummy delicious smell and it's 
soft and pliable and it has this amazing texture look at that like it has this awesome smooth spot there and then smoother and then these like fat pebbles there and fat pebbles over there and smooth i wanted a variety of texture that's what i asked for and that's what i got look at this look at the pockets and look at this oh it is so so pretty oh i am so excited so i have had a few of the chocolates over the years but one of my favorites that i started calling my lovey Allie brown called hers a lovey and so i started calling mine a lovey was this b6 slim so this is their old style like with the pen loop that i hate that tucks in i love this pen loop but this is a b6 slim and i had actually bought this pre-loved i didn't buy this directly from chic sparrow but it has you see all that shine it has developed this amazing patina. I actually haven't even used this in a couple of years, but it has this beautiful shine and sheen on it. Like I actually got fingerprints. I don't know if it's gonna pick up in the camera, but there's literally my fingerprints right here. I had something on my hand and it has fingerprints on it and it's still, it still smells amazing and it's like slick and shiny and oh, it is so awesome. And I just love this cover. So I wanted a narrow or standard size in this same leather. So you'll be able to see when I compare these that this new one is a little, some people say it's chalky. It depends on the hide. Sometimes the hides feel a little bit dry or chalky. They're not dry. This is not a dry leather, but it can have a little drier feel to it when you first get it. The more you touch this, the more you use it, the more you hug on it and you love on it, the shinier it will get. And it will not have that sort of chalky feel. And it will get this like beautiful slick feel. You can actually speed that process up. Some people do it by adding leather conditioner. My preference is to just do my nails and put my cuticle oil on and lotion my hands up real good after I do my nails and then sit with my cover while we watch a movie and just rub on it and love on it and it will speed up that process. But you'll see that the color will darken, if you can see that, it will darken and then it will get that beautiful shine and oh, it's gonna be amazing. I'm so excited and this texture is perfect. I so wanted something that was smooth, but then also pebbly. I like the combination of textures and I like like the poofy kind of pebbling instead of the super tight pebbling. And that's what this has. And I could not, I could not be more happy. I'm so excited. So this is going to be a relatively short video because I'm just unboxing, but I thought I would share. This is a single strand traveler's notebook from Woozy. So let me just lay it. I wanted to share with you guys the dimensions. So, or like the size difference. So if I lay the woozy on top, the chic sparrow is a little bit taller, but not much, but it is wider because this is a single strand elastic where this is a four strand elastic. So this one, I had to use a Lauren Phelps design TN sleeve in order to be able to put like this thick book in there. And then also put this many things on the elastics without using jump bands. And this I can put four inserts on here with no jump bands. I can also use the Lauren Phelps design TN sleeve on here and even further maximize. So I could have that in here with a thicker notebook, I could have a wallet insert in here and I could have inserts also like TN inserts in here and stuff in the card pockets. I could just like really fill this up and I'm so excited. And then this is the Chic Sparrow, the one from their like TN starter kit. And it is also, classic size and you'll see that they are the same height you can see that but the chic sparrow is wider because once again this is a single strand and this is a multi-strand plus the chic sparrow single strand is wider than the travelers company and wider than the woozy so if i stick them together you can see there that the Chic Sparrow is wider, which I like because that means that my thicker notebook fits in there and there's no overhang, my tabs don't stick out and you can put a lot more in it. That little bit of width difference can make a big difference in like how things lay because this actually does have like a little bit of overhang. It really doesn't bother me and I've been enjoying it, but I would prefer it not to have that. And I do like being able to put tabs and things and this will allow me to put tabs because this is cut even wider. 
but that's my unboxing. I just wanted to share it with you guys because I wanted to open it up and I wanted to check it out and I am so excited. I'm gonna be spending the evening tomorrow night just rubbing on this and loving on this and starting the process of developing that shine. And oh, look at that smooth spot right there. I am so excited. That's my unboxing. I got my narrow or standard size traveler's notebook with the cascade pockets and the pen loop in the chocolate creme. And then I got the passport in the patina. It felt very fitting to order these two together. This leather is what started it all for me in passport size with my very first passport traveler's notebook ever in the original patina leather from Chic Sparrow. And because this has been an all time love leather for me that I just can't get enough of, like the feel, the smell, everything. And I really wanted a standard size lovey and now I have one and I'm so excited. That's my unboxing. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to put them down below and I will definitely get back with you. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this chatty unboxing of my two new covers from Shakespeare. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble.